the Pulik and Our Show. I'm your host, Carnation. It's not, uh, you know, for the past couple of days in here in Tampa, it was raining, but, you know, we kind of good for now. For now. It's breezy a little bit, but it's cool. Shout out to my man, Lou, man. He had prior, he had, he, my man, Olu had prior engagements. He'd be back next episode. He still, still, he, he sends us our love. All right, so today, you only got me. Sorry. But I'll talk about a couple of things. Um, <laughs> a couple of things that, a couple unfortunate things that have happened to certain individuals who probably lost something. Um, number one, I'm gonna talk about Tucker Carlson and Don Lemon. As some of you may know, they have lost their job, they have been fired, or leave of absence, or mutual agreement, whatever, whichever way the company likes to spin. You know how companies spin shit. It was a mutual agreement. No, no, you, you fired me. You know, it happens. It is what it is. All right. So, two different situations. Both, <laughs> same, but both of them got fired. But Tucker was on some Wesley Snipe in New Jack City stuff. If he's going down, he's taking a whole lot of things with him. Tucker didn't care, man. Like, listen, for, say what you want about Tucker. Um, fair monger, racist. Hateful agenda. He has a big audience. He has a very big audience. And he brought in a lot of money for Fox News. He brought in a lot of money for them. So he probably was the, the biggest asset. And for them to get rid of him, you knew something, something was bigger was happening. For them to say, you know what, we gotta cut ties to Tucker, something bigger was bigger was happening. So Tucker decided to go on a ramp. It's, it looked like, from what I was looking at it, because I don't really watch the show too much. I watch clips and clips and bits here and there, but I decided, for the sake of this video, excuse me, I decided for the sake of this video to um, watch this, to watch like the, like the last three episodes of his show. And it looked like Tucker was trying to get fired. Almost like he, he seen it right on the wall, He's like, you know what? I'm not gonna let them control me, which I respect that. And he just said, you know what? I'm going all out. I'm going all out. I'm not apologizing for this Dominion crap, especially when you guys probably told him to push the narrative too, so he's not as fault as well. So he's like, you know what? I'm not going out like that. Y'all gonna eat whatever I deliver to y'all. And you know, it is what it is for Tucker. You know, he went on his shield. For better or for worse, for lack of better words, he's gonna bounce back. There's an audience for him. There's a, and like I tell people all the time, with you know, with me, whether I like the individual or not, you know, you gotta speak, you know, very unbiased. There's an audience for the man. He has a big platform. People, there's a real big audience for him. He's gonna bounce back, whether with a company or on his own. He, he's good. Don Lemon though. <laughs> Woo! I don't think that man thought he's gonna get fired. Like I don't think that man had any clue this was gonna happen to him. Tucker wanted to get fired. Don did not want to get fired. That's the difference. So Don pretty much was on some. You know he was the might not agree, but he was the stereotypical company man. He was a company man. You know he was a he's a straight up company man. He did he did what they told him to do. Whether it's the pitch their narrative, he has listen. We gotta be honest. He has pitched a narrative too. Let's let's. I can't just be like because we're both black. I can't just you know I gotta tell the truth. He pitched a narrative as well. He has pitched a narrative as well to his consumer for the benefit of his employer. We've seen it so much times in corporate America. Like people, he probably don't believe half the crap he has said. You know. But he was a good company man, and when his when when his when his spin of how he does things wasn't bringing in the money or, or the views, they got rid of him, which is typical big corporation policy. All right, you ain't working anymore. Thank you <laughs> for swallowing your pride and your dignity, but you gotta go. He had to be let go. I think Don. I think he may have like um I'm not gonna lie, I really I think he I think he's gonna bounce back. 
because people like him, but I don't see him as a definite bouncing back like how Tucker bounced back. Tucker, Tucker's gonna bounce back because like I said, I'm not a fan of the man, but he has a platform, all right? He has a platform, he's gonna bounce back. I'm not too sure about Don Lemon if he's gonna bounce back the way that he was lit on CNN. I don't, I can't, I can't call it. I can't call it, I can't call it. Can't call it at all. Good luck to him. <laughs> Good luck to him. But what it, I, I wanted to talk about this topic in this segment just because, guys, excuse me for the wind, but I definitely want to talk about this topic because um, it just, it's, it's like a, it's like I always tell people, you have to be your own individual. You being who you are is gonna stretch a long way than you being what that company wanted you to be. Because at the end of the day, when you ain't bringing in the money for them anymore, they're clipping you. They are, they, they are definitely clipping you. You know what I mean? Whitney Houston had a line where she once said like, yo, no matter what they take from me, they can't take away my dignity. This is what happens sometimes when you, you know, when you go along, listen, I get it. You know, you gotta play by the rules of the company. But don't lose who you are. And that's what I always tell people. Never lose. Never lose foresight. Never lose that dignity of yourself. Me personally, I feel like Don kind of did. Let's just hope he bounced back, you know. But we know Tucker bounced back. That audience is heavy for him. All right? So that was my segment about Don Lawson. That's my, that's my views about the Don Lawson and the Tucker Carlson firing. We'll be right back to Plug and Correct. Welcome back to Plug and Correct show. <laughs> I'm not, yo, even before I start talking about this topic, it's making me laugh. So, who else lost their gig last week or this week? Um, so it looks like Meta is not gonna um, continue with the, with the Red Table Talk with Jada Pickens Smith. <laughs> I'm sorry. <laughs> I'm not happy she lost it, but and then and I read also that they were saying that okay, it, it, it's, she's gonna pitch it to somebody else, and it's, it's gonna get picked up by another place, bro. If it was gonna get picked up by another place, or somebody else wanted it, somebody with a big you know viewership wanted it. You wouldn't have went to Meta. I'm sorry. Like you wouldn't have went to Facebook. All right. You wouldn't have went to one of these big companies like you know, ABC, NBC, Stars, Viacom, all type of things. You know, you would have went there, or it started like a YouTube channel. Matter of fact, forget that. Let me really talk about this. Like you know, let me stop being PG. This is the Pluck and Correct show. Yo, Jada, man, I gotta be real with you, man. I've heard men and women say this, and I. I take heed to more when I hear women say this. The way Will was embarrassed on that show, <laughs> like on that show in particular, cause you have like, let me break it down to you. In the black community, we have great actors and great actresses, but for my generation, probably the two most standout actors in my generation, it's Denzel Washington, Will Smith. I'm gonna repeat, Denzel and Will Smith. You could tear anybody else down, I don't agree with it. I don't agree to tear anybody down, but when you tear down Denzel and Will, that bothers us. Like, I've heard a woman told me this. She said, yo, cause women, that's all I tell you, women know women. All race. It doesn't matter what kind of race, what ethnic background. Women know women. A woman can tell when some nonsense another a next woman is doing. And women, and I've heard women tell me like, yo, I don't know what dirt she got on Will, but whatever she got, she's taking advantage of it and, and she's using it. Cause to see what you you have to understand for us as black men growing up in the nineties and two thousand. See, Denzel was already a mature man. But we used to always be like, yo, you gotta be smooth like Denzel. 
You know what I mean? It's cool to be. And in the 80s, it's funny. I used to hear like um, older dudes say you gotta be smooth like Billy D. Williams in the 80s. But in the, but in the 90s, it was like you gotta be smooth like Denzel. With Will, he was just us because he was relatable. He was young like us. He was fashionable like us. Remember, Denzel was already a grown man. You know, when the 90s started. He was already grown, mature, white, kids, all that. You know, probably in his 30s already. Will was still us. He still had his youth. He still had everything about him. Will was fashionable. The Jordans, the style, the Fresh Prince show. We all want to think about it. I've heard women say this once again. Will was tall, charismatic, funny, a rapper, a good role model. He was everything you wanted to be. He was So to see Will go down this this route, it, I can't lie to you, it hurts. So I could see, you know, the backlash Jada probably got from everything. Everything that transpired with Chris Rock, with the whole August, I've seen the things. I see the backlash she got where people are not tuning in for that crap. Like, I ain't watching her. Hell no. I ain't watching that. Nah. I'm not watching anymore. I'm not making sure you get lit while Will got tore down. Like, I can see that. I can look. Forget I can see that. I wouldn't watch it. Nah, I'm not watching. I would not watch that. I will, I'm not watching that. I don't even care whatever Will is saying about her. Nah, 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 nah. I'm not watching that. I'm not watching that. Hell no. Will still hasn't recovered from all that yet. Like, it's, he's still trying to find his niche back, you know. Hopefully, Bad Boys 4 is good. Because, like, I tell people this all the time. No matter with the slap with Chris Rock, we love Will, son. You don't understand. Like, we, we love Will. Like, like we love Will. Like, damn. You just, you just hate to see Will go out like that. So, do I think Jada going, somebody going to pick it up? You never know. Somebody might pick it up. Do I, would I pick it up? Hell no. I'm not giving her no platform to talk. No more her nonsense. Sorry. Hell no. Nah, 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 nah. But am I being biased out because... I, because I love Will Smith? Yeah! But guess what? I'm not the only one. That's my whole point of me telling y'all this. Will was up here for us. He was really up here. So to watch all that, nah. No one's gonna give you that light. So good luck with pitching it. Good luck to bringing it to whoever you wanna bring it to. Wish you the best of luck, Jada. <laughs> Listen, stop airing, yeah, I said this all the time. Before I move on to the next segment. You don't have to put your family deep secrets on Front Street. You could have kept that all good. I get it, it's the Red Table Talk. Keep that. Remember, make, make your guests talk their nonsense. You don't come on that show and talk your nonsense about your husband and you. And if you're going to talk about like husband and wife stuff, don't bring up that. <laughs> like you could have kept that to yourself. Leave that pain in house. And that's all I got to say, man. And we'll be right back to Pluck and our correct show. Alright guys. Welcome back. I like to um <laughs> I'm not laughing about this, but like um you know, for those of you who don't know Jerry Springer, the talk show host of the nineties and two thousand show, the Jerry Springer show has passed away. I think they said he was 79 years old. And to be real with y'all, the Jerry Springer show, as along with the Marley Povis show, along with, um, I'm gonna show my age saying this, Ricky Lake show, Jenny Jones, like these shows was a part of like the 90s talk show. Like literally, Used to watch your cartoons, watch the shows. Or if you or if you sick and you couldn't and you couldn't like go to school, you was watching the shows. You know, these these was literally a part of like our youth. Jerry's show was different because Jerry's show was wild. <laughs> like I can't lie to you. Like Jerry as a kid, I'm being honest with y'all. Jerry Springer show was the first time I ever heard about um like certain topics like I never knew what um 
what a transvestite was. I didn't know about um, gay couples. I never knew about that till the Jerry Springer show. I didn't, I didn't, none of that passed my mind until the Jerry Springer show. I had no clue. I didn't even know what lesbians was until the Jerry Springer show. So, so was it, was it, was it a little bit like um, distasteful at times? Yes, it was. But can we say, can we honestly say it was kind of educational because it taught us things that we, we possibly would not know about. It was kind of educational. Was it wild? It was wild. It was wild. Think, and it was, and it's a part of pop culture. Think, think about how much times you was probably in high school back in the days and, a, and if a little argument happened, before they say fight, what they say? Jerry, Jerry, Jerry. Think, think about all that thing. Like, you know how much times in high school we say Jerry? And it'll be just people argue like, Jerry, just a, just a big argument, Jerry. Then when they fight, you be like, fight, fight, you know? Yeah, think about all these things. Like, Jerry Springer show is literally in the, it's in the pop culture. It, he, he show never be forgotten. Never be forgotten. After he passed away, I was looking at some old clips and I was like, damn. Jerry Springer show was wild. Even Steve, like the security guard, like Steve got a spin-off because of the show. Cause he was, you know, you see big Brocky Steve, you're like, he gone, you ain't fighting. You ain't getting past Steve. If Steve don't want you to get past him, you're not getting past Steve. Also too, I didn't know Jerry was the mayor of Cincinnati. <laughs> That's a hold on, he was a mayor. Cause the way they introduce him, you know, when he passed, like, former Mayor Cincinnati, Jerry Springer died. I'm thinking it's a different Jerry Springer. <laughs> like, I was like, okay, there's two Jerry Springers. And he looked and said, oh, that's Jerry. He was a mayor? He was a mayor. And, he, you know, his legacy, his show's legacy, is going to live on forever. It's going to live on forever. It's probably the, it's probably him and Howard Stern show. They're probably the blueprint of any show you see now with shock value. Any show that wants to go the shock value route, Howard Stern and Jerry Springer is probably the blueprint. They really revolutionized. We don't care about the backlash. We don't care what you're gonna say about us. We don't care if you say if we're if we're starting if we're piggybacking on people's like um, lives, we don't care if we, you know, if we're, if we're taking the back future duration, we're gonna do this because the viewers are gonna view it. <laughs> the people are gonna tune in. Him and Howard Stark, I, I, it's just my personal opinion. In my time of watching TV, they started it. They started it. Howard Stern with the radio and, and his TV program, Jerry Springer with his talk show. Because think about it, Jerry started it, then Marvy did it his way. <laughs> Marvy did it with, you are not the father. He went his route. But, RIP to Jerry Springer. You know, it's tough, you know. It's, it's just another reminder, we're all getting old. Our, our time has come. Our time will come sooner or later. You know, he lived a long life, 79 years old. That's a long life. It's a nice life. It's a nice 79 years old. That's a, it's a nice number to live, you know what I mean? So RIP to him and his family, you know, RIP to him, condolences to his family. And I like to tell, I, I like to end, end the show on this. I want to thank you guys for like watching, watching the last like um, episode uh, with me and Olu. Thank you guys with viewers. Thank you for the comments. Love every minute of it. Like I told y'all, I'm going to do a lot more things. We're going to do a lot more things with this, you know, you know, with the company. We're going sports entertainment politics we're gonna talk about everything man thank you guys so much you know like i always ask you guys like and share this video comment tell me you know if, you know what i need to improve on i definitely i promise you i'm gonna improve on these mics i got y'all with that especially with the tampa wind i'm definitely gonna improve on the mics i'm gonna do a lot more different things you know and i just you know i'm just i feel happy i feel happy that you know i continue this you know continue the journey with this show and i just want to thank y'all you know but take your time to watch, you know. This is Carnation. It's Political Not Correct Show. Till next time.